These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you. Okay, now I don't know for sure exactly which bands you're expected to have memorized and which ones you're not. From the previous work with you guys, I, I seem to remember that these are some that come up a lot. So these are some that are important to know for IR absorptions. The alcohol absorption is pretty important to know. Oftentimes, by the way, these tend to be broad absorptions. That means instead of looking like, well, instead of looking like spikes, they're more rounded. Broad means that you're more rounded. That's a result of hydrogen bonding. So we would expect alcohol bonds to be in this range and relatively broad. Now I wanted to mention these just to point out that these are not very helpful because almost any compound has some alkane bonds. Almost any compound has some alkanes. So almost any compound will have some absorptions in this region. And one thing to keep in mind for IR is there's no integration. You can't tell how many bonds are represented by each absorption. If you see an absorption, that tells you a functional group, but it doesn't tell you how many of that functional group there is. So you can pretty much ignore the absorptions that are a little bit below 3,000. You can pretty much ignore the absorptions that are a little bit below 3,000 because pretty much any molecule will have absorption in this range. So I wanted to mention these are as absorptions that are generally not very important. An absorption that seems to be pretty important in your course is the alkene absorption in the 1600s. Well, then we might try number 35. Sounds right. So thinking through the logic for that, if you look at lowercase a, lowercase a has this 1640. What does that diagnostic of? Because 
lowercase a has a 1640, that seems to mean an alkene, right? Mm -hmm. And lowercase a also has a broad 3400, which indicates an alcohol. Mm -hmm. So we can say that lowercase a has to be uppercase C. Okay. Because we've got the alkene and the alcohol. Yeah. And then B, B doesn't really have anything special in it. Notice that all of these have some absorptions in the 2840 to 3000. And that's all B has. Well, then we need our boring ace molecule, which is molecule A, that doesn't have any interesting functional groups. Then C has the 1660, which represents the alkene, but it does not have the alcohol absorption. Is that right? For which letter? C. Wait. Yeah, so lowercase c has a 1665, which seems to indicate an alkene. Yep. Oh, did I get confused? Yeah, no, lowercase c here. Yeah, it seems to represent an alkene. Um, but it doesn't have any alcohol absorptions. Lowercase c doesn't have any alcohol absorptions. So that would seem to represent exactly what you said, this one down here. Lowercase c is the one with the alkene, but no alcohol absorptions. And then lowercase d has only the alcohol. That would be this one here. So I think that's exactly what you said, so it looks like you worked that out correctly. Are these the answers that you got? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can see it looks like these are some important absorptions to know for alkenes and for alcohols. Yeah. And not to pay too much attention to absorptions in this region, because pretty much any molecule has these. So again, these are like little puzzles or detective, yeah. detective problems where we have to work out the pieces piece by piece. Why don't we do number 37 first now? So here's a couple more bands that might be, that will be helpful to us here. Here's the aldehyde and ketone absorptions. And here's the absorption between an oxygen and a carbon in an ether or an alcohol. The, uh, the absorption for the bond between the oxygen and the carbon in an ether and alcohol is in this region. Here's the absorption for alkynes.
how do we know if it's the one with the alcohol or the one with the ether? Yeah, how do we know? 